Got the back black into play as well. There's a bonus. It's just the black comes down. And he's perfect on this red into the right hand corner. Black to follow. <coughs> just a little bit hampered from that red on the side cushion, but still should be okay. I just didn't Try. get try to uh, come up the other side of that red wanted the cue ball somewhere around there but just didn't get enough side spin on the the white and now he has a possible red to middle this is certainly not easy into a blind pocket at an acute angle that's a good shot Played it very well. <coughs> Robertson's confidence is certainly rising. Having won the last three frames, making a 50 break in each of them. Well, he put his hand up there to say sorry to Stephen Henry, but I don't think Stephen Henry was too impressed with that one. The white was definitely lost, but for that kiss on the red, it would have been end, end of break and out of position. See another fifty coming here, at least. He's certainly playing a lot quicker, Clive, isn't he? He has that little bit of a spring in his step. He doesn't have too much work. I think the, the bottom red of the tree around the pink spot will certainly pot into the right corner pocket, so just stun out for that one. It's a 48 point lead. 48. <coughs> Just needs black and two more reds and colours to follow. There's the shot. Perfect on the black. Fifty six ahead. When he puts this red and black, he 
64. We just need a red and black to follow after this. And Stephen will lead Snookers. Certainly getting very interesting. He was 9 3 down. And all of a sudden. 64. 65. This just shows the value of keeping trying when it looks hopeless. Seventy-one. Round of applause from the crowd, acknowledging the fact that that was frame, virtually frame ball. This is a good performance from Neil. Seventy-nine. As Clive said, he hasn't thrown in the towel. He's kept battling away. Eighty. It's certainly nice for him to make a century. Which would be his first at the Crucible. Eighty-six. Eighty-seven. 